Hello and welcome to this welcome video to on expanding single brackets. Now if we had 3 times 2, what does that actually mean? We could think of that as 3 lots of 2. So we could have 3 lots of 2, 2 plus 2 plus 2. We've got 3 lots of 2 added together and we would know that that gives you 6. Now let's say instead I had 3 lots of y plus 2. Now in algebra, whenever you have two things next to each other, that means you're tying them together. So we got 3 times all of y plus 2. Now if we did it in the same way, we got 3 times y plus 2, 3 lots of y plus 2, we got y plus 2, plus another lot of y plus 2, plus another lot of y plus 2, we got 3 lots of y plus 2. And if we collect like terms, we can see we've got y plus y plus y, that's 3y. And if we collect the number terms, we've got 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6. Now can you see what we've done here is we've done 3 lots of the y, which was 3y, and we've done 3 lots of 2, which is 6. So the quick way to do this is you do 3 lots of the first thing and 3 lots of the second thing. So you do 3 lots of whatever terms we have added or subtracted inside the bracket. So let's do some more examples. I've got 3 lots of x plus 4. So we do the same thing. We've got 3 lots of x, which is 3x, and we've got 3 lots of 4, which is 12. Let's do a further one. We've got x times all of x minus y. So as before, we do x times the first term, which is x. What is x times x? Well, that gives you x squared. And if we do x times minus y, we've got minus x, x times minus y, it's minus xy. Now this one's a bit harder, the third one. We have 3xy, 2x squared, plus 3y minus 1. So let's do this bit by bit. We've first got 3xy times by 2x squared. Now let's first concentrate on the numbers at the front. We've got 3 times 2, we know that's 6. We've also got this x is being multiplied by x squared. So we have x squared, which is just x times x, and we're timesing by another x. We've got 3 x's multiplied together now, so we'll have x cubed. And we also have this y here, so we have 6x cubed y. Now let's go on to the second term here. We've got 3xy times 3y. As before, let's start with the numbers at the front. We've got 3 times 3, that is 9. And we've got xy times y. So we've got a single occurrence of x, so let's just put the x. We're going to do this in alphabetical order. And we've also got y times y, which we know is y squared. And finally, we've got the 3xy times the last term, which is minus 1. So we've got 3xy times minus 1. Well, 3 times minus 1 is just minus 3. So we've got minus 3, and we've got the xy there already. Now in this fourth one, we're going to have some like terms, which we're going to be able to collect together. So we have 5, 2x, plus 6, minus 2 lots of 4 minus x. And all you need to do is expand each of these things separately before you collect by terms. So we've got 5 times 2x, that is 10x. We've got 5 times 6, which is 30. And we separately expand out this. So we've got minus 2 times 4. Don't forget that minus there. Minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. And this is where we have to be very, very careful. We've got minus 2 times minus x. So a negative times a negative, that's a positive, isn't it? So we've got plus, and we know 2 times x is 2x. So when we have minus 2 times minus x, that gives us plus 2x. So be very careful when you're subtracting something that's being expanded, that when you have negative times negative, it's going to be positive. And finally, we can collect like terms here, so we can simplify. Well, let's collect the x terms first. We've got 10x plus 2x, and that gives us 12x. And we've also got the plus 30, and we're subtracting 8. That gives us plus 22. And that is our expanded and simplified expression. 
I've got one last example here which students typically get wrong. Now the mistake that students frequently make is they imagine there's some kind of bracket around the 3 minus 2. So they simplify 3 minus 2 first, just get 1, and then they do 1 times 3 minus p. But that's not right. We've, the 3 is separately here, and then we're subtracting two lots of 3 minus p separately. So we'll leave the 3 be, because it's on its own, and then we're subtracting two lots of 3 minus p. So we're going to do minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6. And we've got minus 2 times minus p. Negative times negative is positive, so it's plus 2p. And then that finally simplifies to what well, we've got 3 minus 6, which is minus 3. And then we're adding 2p. And I often like to put the positive term first to tidy it up, so I could write this as 2p minus 3. And that's just slightly tidier, but that's completely correct. Right, some test your understanding questions. So the first one here, we've got m times 2n plus 3m. So I want you to expand that. And then secondly, I want you to expand and simplify this expression here. So we've got a times a minus b. And we've got minus b lots of b minus a. So you may want to stop the video at this point to have a go at these two questions. Now let's do these quickly. We have m times 2n, that is 2mn. The number always comes first, and then the variables you order alphabetically. And then we've got m times 3m. Well, we put the number first, we just got 3 plus 3. And then we've got the m times the m, haven't we? Which is m squared. So you should have 2mn plus 3m squared. And now let's do this harder one here. Let's do it bit by bit. We've got the a times the a, which is a squared. We've got a times negative b. That's going to be negative, so it's minus ab. Then we've got minus b times b, which is minus b squared. And finally, we've got negative b times negative a. That's going to be positive. Negative times negative is positive. So it's going to be plus ab. And finally, let's see if we can collect any like terms. Can this a squared be collected with anything else? Well, no. There's nothing else which has just an a squared in it. Um, can we collect this minus ab with anything else? Yes, we can. We can see that minus ab plus ab, well, they just cancel out. So that just disappears. So we've got the a squared so far. That just disappears. And then we finally got this minus b squared. And that doesn't collect with anything else because there's nothing else with just b squared in it. So we get a squared minus b squared.